Sir, have you heard what Gavin Wood said at Sub-Zero? Hitting the stage day two to give us a piece of his mind. My main takeaway, Polkadot as a software, as a technology, is far from finished or final form. Starting with the finishing touches to XEMV3 announced at Decoded five months ago, and CSANG did a wrap-up of that linked below. This includes trustless communications between different consensus systems, which will allow the new technical fellowship to manage the core development of Kusama and Polkadot, for example, and also handle the passing of NFTs, which may be useful for this new tokenized network ownership. Lock up Dot for a set period of time and receive an NFT that represents the percentage of the network those tokens represented at the time, and fungible liquid tokens. After the lock, return that NFT and those counterpart tokens to receive an equal percentage of the network back. Offloading functionalities such as staking, as well as governance and registration into their own parachains, allowing the relay chain validators to support way more than that 100 parachain slots we always hear about. But the very concept of parachains may become less relevant, with parathreads the ability to bid for only occasional block space, or multiple paras sharing a single slot. He spoke about OpenGov as well, and it looks like a lot of the settings that make OpenGov inaccessible to a lot of network participants is going to change, possibly coming to a runtime upgrade as early as Monday. And on that same day, we're going to be going over every single track on AAG. Finally, Gavin also introduced the Polkadot Payroll, which is a way for anybody who wants to contribute to the development of the ecosystem to receive monthly payments from the treasury with ongoing checks on their productivity. This plays exactly into the decentralized workforce we were speaking about in last week's episode and offers another avenue to compensate contributions, probably starting with code development. Anyway, we'll leave this thread from Alice and Bob down below. It was so awesome to meet him and many other brilliant people working on or excited about our ecosystem. If you're considering becoming a little bit more involved, I can't recommend heading to one of these events in Enough, but I also feel like I missed so much. Penin, Sea Saint, what's going on? Rad Planet, the project with Luigi of Rubble Punks, has released a manifesto signaling that they are a step closer to readiness in this tight lip project. They're also teasing early citizenship. SFY Labs is minting their new Astara collection, the SARS Crew. Dia de los Animales is a new composable collection with Tricky, Grood, and Kichinsky. Aljum unveils an NFT collection built on a star as a DeFi NFT collection. Yudeldao announces December 3rd as a mint date for their ticket holders. Rent and loan Glimmer Jungle NFTs with double protocol. Black Square art voting has started. Expect ETH gas fees. Knights become Nana Banana. And why is everyone apes chimpsing into this collection? Cosmize has a white paper released this week and they are planning a Christmas event. Sidetail Ventures invest big into Moonsama. Candy Girl airdrops whitelist candy coins, available for purchase on secondary. Fallow World Incubation begins December 5th to 13th. Wag Media Dark Spark explains how you'll need friends. Basically, you can't feed your shells more than twice, so you gotta send the rest of your allocated food stuff to others and get some in return to max out your shell boost. Feed me. And there's been a little scuffle about how new NFT nesting is, which I'll settle today as far as I'm aware. Hint, it wasn't actually on Polkadot, but hey, does it really matter? And see same. As we navigate the auctions on the Sista chains, Omni BTC is praying for a good outcome this round, but I have a feeling the paranoia is pretty high. Hash Network, the parachain that aims to enable Web3 business models to flourish, is not too far behind. Over at the laboratory, Robonomics appears to have finished their crowd loan, but are still sitting on the sidelines without any competition in sight at the time of writing. On to other news, as Talisman has added support for gear and centrifuge, Nova Wallet pushes some improved OpenGov UI updates and integration with Polkadex, who got some well-deserved love from Gav lately. Man, T3 Earn, or turn, an interoperability-based cross-chain protocol raised 6.5 million in a recent private token sale. Turn up! Ooh. <sighs> the anti-scam bounties have been serving the ecosystem well with over 5,500 sites taken down since March 2022, and in a similar vein, the Polkadot Alliance has formed to strengthen and protect the Polkadot brand. Learn about the Web3 Foundation's recent research into BLS signatures here, and holy moly, statement has an interesting roadmap ahead that includes more asset pallets, next-gen NFTs, advanced asset transfers, and possibly a DEX on the statement. Hmm. Nomination polls are vibin', and Talisman seems to be hosting the party. Ayuna's development continues to thrive, with blocks now live on their parachain and a lot of love from the community.
Don't forget to solidify your contributions to Mantis Trusted Setup, which seems to have a bit of a backlog. Congrats to the team for a solid start. Here's to 12,000. Fat contracts are coming online with the closed beta now live. Check out this great chat re rehosted with Dakota, founder of Invarch, and Astrid Dow adds support for Wallet Connect. Unique Network aims to educate with their partnership with Unit Masters. Polemic branches away from Kilt to launch their protocol for early stage Polkadot project funding, while Interlay Labs launches a grants program and Infala looks to revamp their app. A star now has an HRMP channel opened up with Follow, while Bifrost and Mangata X open up one of their own. And go claim your Pika rewards, good sirs. On to you, Jay. Thanks, guys. And this week, it was hard to find new NFT music. Please submit some in the comments below. But because Valentino never quits, we have a demo to share with another fresh sound. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs>